So we're here at the Media Tech, and who are you? Uh, Joe Yang. Yeah. So what are you talking about here? Uh, we're talking about the Media Tech Adaptive Network. So it, uh, basically... So, uh, so it's for Wi-Fi? Uh, it's for Wi-Fi, yes. And then for, in the Wi-Fi, they have a like, repeater and the routers. And then our main focus is on the repeater in this product. Yeah. So uh, what do you do for Wi-Fi to be better? Is uh, this here? Yeah, this is a repeater and then... It's this, already in the market? Is uh, it Dini? Not, not, not yet? yet? Yeah, this is just a demo set. And he's using MediaTek... Chipset. Uh, chipset? Yes. Which one? Uh, it's a... Uh, right here? Yeah, it's a... Uh, MT7621 uh, plus 2 MT7615. Uh, two? Why do you need two? Uh, because this one, this repeater is a dual band, a concurrent. Yeah, repeater. So it actually have a two uh, two IC one in one to in, one to take care of the two point four G, another one to take care of the five G. So that's why I do need two radio chips. And what's special about this? Uh, the whole thing the special about this is the, uh, to uh, to let the user easy to add the uh, repeater at home. And also, in addition to that, it also can co provide a reliable con network. And also, the, uh, provide the good quality of the wireless service at home, home network. So, uh, it's each uh, repeater mm -hmm. is using a different channel? Or how, what, is the, what is the idea here? The idea here is, uh, the demo scenario here is like uh, several repeaters. And then, they build up the, your home network. Okay? And then, in any case, uh, if you one of the repeater fails, the repeater actually can cover that each other, so you can get a reliable network, wireless network. Is it important to to manage the interference and the signal strength and all that stuff? Do you manage this uh, automatically? Yes. yes. And is the way you do? How is it different from other repeater? Okay. And the way we do actually is uh, for one of the example is like a setup. Uh, the typically the other repeater, if you wanna do setup, you probably need to have some assistant or device. For example, a smartphone, but in our case, we don't need that. So you basically get your repeater, you buy your repeater from the shop, then drop it at home, and then as long as it's a whole set from the MediaTek based uh, product, then they can find each other and uh, give you a wireless network. Find each other automatically? Yes, exactly. How about password? Yeah, Wi-Fi actually, password? It actually has a pa password and uh, encrypt inside of the, uh, the, the chipset, so it's actually going to take care of that. So you make a, a, a Wi-Fi in home, you choose a password, but if it's MediaTek, you don't need to tell the repeater the password. No, you don't. Automatically, you will find, connect, and mm -hmm. expand. Yes, we do. We, we take care of all that. Yeah. So you don't have a security concern about that. What is a, a system cost for a repeater? Uh, com a repeater compared to a router? Oh, is it cheaper? Actually, uh, most of the repeater in the, in the market probably is cheaper because it has a it, it functionality actually is limited, uh, different, not limited, sorry, uh, different from the router, yeah. So it can be made for cheaper and then uh, hotels, companies, everybody should buy repeaters. If you want to increase the wireless coverage, yes. But it's very important to have a, a MediaTek router, mm -hmm. uh, every, this has to be MediaTek. Yeah, this or it one, can be anything. No, this one, uh, this one, uh, this four repeater has to be the uh, MediaTek repeater, but this one it does not have to. But does not have to. It does not have to. But if it's a, it's a, it's a MediaTek router, that would be much more easier. If it's not, uh, in certain cases, if it's not, it's okay. You still can configure that. Just need uh, additional steps. Yeah.